Craig's stuff. Craig's stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Craig's stuff. Craig's stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. Oh Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Craig's Stuff. My name is Craig and this, oh boy, is some of my stuff for today. We are doing another Big Bad Toy Store unboxing video. Gonna check out my pile of loot from Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, got my package just in the mail today. Very excited about it. Uh, I think I know what's in it to be honest. Been, been like three months. In fact, just as my other pile of loot shipped from, I guess, three months ago, one thing was added, like, like a day after I chose to ship it, then they, uh, they sent me a notification, your thing is available, and I'm like, come on. That's classic Big Bad Toy Store. In fact, I already have, like, one or two things, I think, or one thing already in my pile of loot from, like, three days after I shipped this. So, like, it's just, like, come on, you guys. In fact, I had the notification for it that it was coming to my uh, pile of loot like a week before this thing needed to be shipped and it still wasn't ready yet. So, uh, whatever. Love Big Bad Twister. They're, 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 they're fantastic. I, anytime I've dealt with customer service with those guys, they are uh, phenomenal. I, I really, really, really like, always like my experience with them. Anyway. Got to pop open this sucker here, or rather, time to pop this sucker open. That's 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 the that's the catchphrase. Let's see what we got. Oh, stuff's just falling out right from the top. All right, all right. Let's see. Here we go. Right at the top. First off, my newest obsession. We have more plunderlings. I had some uh, store credit from some canceled orders, so figured might as well uh, pick up some of the rest of the plunderlings that I needed. So this one is Goyle, Nomad Goyle. Actually, the uh, the plunder long strong Kickstarter is just about to end, or I think by the time this airs, it will have ended. Uh, so, which is pretty cool. Very excited for that. So we got this one. Cool. Love me some plunderlings. And this is the last of the plunderlings that I don't have, at least the ones that are available. This one is Captain Ash. Very, very excited. This one's cool. I like the I like the captains. I think the most I think they're the coolest looking ones. Teal is the other one that I have. I really like that one. So really, really cool. Got a couple plunderlings. Then we have this this is the figure that's been in my pile of forever. This is the uh um, that time I was reincarnated. At, eh, that time I was reincarnated as a slime, uh, otherworlder. This is Soe. He's one of the ninja. Uh, what are they? Orcs or something like that? No, they're not orcs. Oh, I don't, I don't know what the hell they are actually. I think they were orcs. I don't know who the hell knows. Then they transformed. But yeah, Soe. He's like one of the, the ninja guy. That's pretty cool. What else do we have? Uh, we have, of course, the advertisement. Big bad toy store. Gargoyles. And then we have, very excited, I was lucky enough to score this on Big Bad Toy Store. This is uh, Mythic Legion's uh, Cronaw. This is basically the Trap Jaw. Um, Mythic Legion's figure, you can see he looks a lot like Trap Jaw. You know, he's got the purple and, the, you know. But super cool. I, I think I'm going to probably switch. I think, he, does he come with an alternate head? He might come with an alternate head. That way I can switch it because I'm not too big of a fan of the Motu uh, uh, homage figures, but he looks pretty awesome anyway. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay. Then we have a uh, band, another Van Presto. This is the Grandista Nero uh, Luffy. This is a cool figure. Got a couple options for display. One you can have him holding the hat. Have him holding a mug or a piece of meat, and you can switch off the heads. So there's a face with the stars in his eyes and the face where he's eating meat, which is pretty cool. I originally was thinking I was gonna do the meat face, but but then he doesn't have the straw hat anywhere, which to me is kind of weird. It'd be nice if you could put the straw hat like around his neck or something. I don't know. That's cool. Oh, this is how they package this, really? Really? They kind of just shove this, of all the figures to package it, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's totally fine. 
But uh, yeah, so this is the Marvel Legends uh, Venom. Marvel Legends Retro Collection, I should say. Uh, Venom. It, says, it even says Kenner on the package, which is kind of cool. Actually, now I have two of these. I got one from Amazon, which actually came in pretty good shape, but this one is still in better shape. I just wanted to see how this one came. Uh, oh, crap. Uh, yeah, it looks like... The, actually, the one I think I got from Amazon is in better shape. Look at that. There's like a crease there. I didn't get the collector packaging version, so what do you expect? It's fine. I might open one of them anyway. Uh, oh, in fact, speaking of collector grade, this is the Marvel Legends Retro Spider-Man. Uh, I got the collector grade version. I usually don't bother, but unfortunately this was the only option available still. And uh, I had kind of wanted this figure still, and obviously I wanted it in box. A collector grade, my butt. What do they call them? They call that collector grade? Look at that. All right. I don't really think that's... I mean, it's not in bad condition, but, like, there's, like, I don't know if you can see in the... There's a little, like, scuff here on the side. It's very surprising considering they're consider they call this collector grade. I don't know. Maybe I will. Uh, I don't know if I care enough to be honest to to complain. They've always been so good to me. Yeah, symbiote Spider Man, black suit Spider Man, whatever you want to call it. That's pretty cool. And then these figures, for whatever reason, they like appeared on the website. Uh, all of a sudden, they I don't know where they dug them out from, but we have the variable action heroes, uh, Dracul Mihawk. Hawkeye Mihawk from One Piece. Super excited for this one. This is a cool figure. You can have him in his uh, little sitting pose like that. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. And then very last, but not least, we have also variable action heroes, Rob Lucci. Also from One Piece. Um, pretty cool figure. These are older. Um, Again, I don't really know how the heck they just appear on Big Bad, but it's cool. Unfortunately, this is Rob uh, Rob Lucci in his um, in like his later attire, where he's. I think they they literally show him in this outfit in the show at least one, I think one time. Uh, other than that, he's in his you know he was in the black suit, which from the actual arc that he was important in. So it's kind of strange that they would go with this one. I guess everything's supposed to be time skip for that line. So I kind of get, I guess I get why. Um, and then that's it from Big Bad Toy Store. But I figured, you know what, today I had gone out. Uh, a, uh, a local shop, not too far from me, called Rip and Run. Rip and Run uh, Collectibles. Uh, got in these, uh, these figures that I have been waiting or searching for, I've been wanting to get now for quite a while. I have a couple left. But these are uh, the uh, some of the Street Sharks. So I'm super, super, super excited to finally have, again, some Street Sharks action figures. These are the original Street Sharks from the 90s. So excited to have this again. These are super, super cool. He's still got his little, like, weird, like, elongated nail feature thing that he did. But, and then this one, you know, they all open their mouths. Awesome. Then we got, uh, this was, um, uh, not Ripster. This was, uh, not Blades either. This was, uh, Streaks. I think that was his name. It was Streaks, I think is his name. Then we have, I think this is, uh, Manta Man or something like that. He's pretty cool. These are, you know, pretty good shape, though. I think they came in, they're, they're pretty nice. Pretty good shape. Not too many, like, paint smudges or anything on there. Uh, actually, there is a smudge right right there on his, on his side. But I actually saw a video yesterday on how to remove that kind of stuff. So I might give it a shot myself and see if I can. And then last, my, the, actually the most expensive one. This one 
is Jab. So this one's pretty cool. Arms a little loose. Uh, this one's working though. He actually, he works. His uh, little action feature. And then his, uh, he does mouth opens, which is pretty awesome. So this are, these are awesome. Very, very excited about having the, uh, the Street Sharks. So super hyped to have picked those up. Uh, it's probably the only retro toy line that I'm like kind of interested in. Uh, unfortunately, they're like impossible to find. So if anybody has some Street Sharks that they want to get rid of on, online, uh, send me a DM. Let me know. I'm interested. So got a lot of new stuff. It's just a constant influx with the pre-orders and all that kind of stuff. So who the hell knows? Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Please check back every Friday at noon for brand new videos. Uh, check out my Instagram. It's at Craig's Stuff. I will see you guys next time. Later.